few weeks ago, you guys have lost all this freight and things look kind of bleak, and now you're back in first place in the Big 12. So did you learn anything about this group in the weeks that followed? Uh, that we, you know, never going to stop fighting no matter what's going on. Um, you know, our conference is really good, so losing three games in a row may seem bad while it's going on, but uh, we've got to find a way to just to keep pushing, keep going, and that's what, that's what we were able to do, you know, to have so many new guys and young guys uh, show that kind of fight. Was, uh, was really important, you know, and really uh, impressive uh, from what I've seen. You know, just showing our will to someone to win. Grady, anything extra from you at halftime? You, you came out red hot to start the second. Anything, anything on your mind different, or did you look to be more aggressive? Um, you know, just continue to try to be consistent. Um, when I have an open shot, um, take it. So I think that's really it. And you know, I said all the time, but just that short-term memory. Missed a couple of shots early, but you know, try not let it affect me, and you know, did it. Jalen, you can you can do better than that. What do you think of his game? Uh, no, nah, he he did great. He did great. Uh, you know, you, you guys have seen all year that he has, and you know, no conscience when it comes to shooting the ball. And that's what makes a great shooter. You know, he's confident. Uh, every time he shoots the ball, we think it's going in, just like he thinks it's going in. So to have a, a freshman do that, it shows his, his confidence. And uh, you know, also it, what may go unnoticed is the way he was guarding. You know, at the end of the game, uh, you know, while the intensity, uh, moving his feet and stuff like that. You know, he had a great, great both uh, game on both ends. Whether it was him or, or Kevin or Joe or whoever, they picked you up when you had your foul trouble and you were actually sitting a lot tonight. How hard was that and how fun was it to watch them mm -hmm. kind of carry that? Oh, I mean, it's always always great to have the team step up. You know, that's that's the importance of, of our team. You know, we got so many guys, uh, like I said all year, that they can step up and, and, and will the way to win. You know, today was great. And, you know, Kevin played his part, Juan played his part, Joe off the bench. Uh, you know, and that's, that's what shows the greatest of our team. You know, when, when we go through adversity on the road, like we always will, uh, you know, we just got to step up. And that, that's what makes the team come together and be great. If both of you guys can hit this. They're, they're a good defensive team. You guys finished with 26 assists. And the way you ran the offense, was that about as good an execution with your offense as you had this year? Yeah, it was great. I mean, we prepared for that, you know, the whole week of practice of um, just knowing, yeah, how you know, great they're defensive and how physical they play. Um, and them coming out, um, whether it be me or Jay Will, they kind of, you know, face guard. Um, just, you know, while we're in preparation, it's really just, you know, moving the ball. And um, if we get to the paint, it's just going to open up a lot of, you know, holes to expose and what we try to do. Jay, what makes your, your team's defensive, defense in transition so effective? Um, you know, I feel like when we get out in transition, yes, for us, right? Like when we get, yeah, you know, when we get out in transition, we got so many weapons that, uh, you know, as far as getting to the cup, with size, um, especially Juan with the ball, he's so crafty, and uh, you know Grady's always spotting up for three. Um, you know I'm going to the rim. We got so many different guys that would do so many different things and transition that, you know, if you're not getting back, you're not thinking fast on your feet. Um, we're gonna be able to make a play, and you know we're not able to get in, in transition unless we get stops and rebounds. So it was important for us to uh, to rebound well today. Um, I, they they definitely got some offensive rebounds, but you know I think we had timely transition buckets. Grady, what did your shot before halftime do for the team? So what? The shot before halftime. Oh, um, I mean, I think it kind of gave us, you know, some momentum going in. I don't know really if he took it or not, but I think I don't know he might have, but yeah, it definitely gave us some momentum. Jalen, was that a big three? Oh, uh, it was a huge three. Um, any 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 shot to close out the half on the road is uh, is huge, and it's important to be a three with. Well, it was like five or six seconds left. Um, you know, that was, a, that was a huge shot for us to go in the half and, and be able to regroup. For either of you, Bryce was hot again to start tonight. He was hot at your place. What would you do to, to cool him off? And, and was that an emphasis, anything extra, anything different? Yeah, um, you know, a guy that, that, that's that confident in shooting the ball, uh, I think the second half, we really just keyed in on not letting him feel comfortable at all, um, make sure all the shots are contested, uh, not let him be able to get into the rhythm, dribble, pull up anymore. and. Uh, you know, just try to force him to drive a little bit more. And I think we started doing that. I mean, you saw it was a night and day from the first half, second half. Great. How, How much you did you handle? guys talk about trying to tie for first place tonight? Peter, well, be that. Going into the game, did you talk a lot about trying to move into first place? Um, I mean, I guess it's definitely on our minds, but at the same time, it's um, kind of not in, in the same way of just focusing on, you know, one game at a time and, you know, the outcome, you know, is that. So I feel like. We're just you know focus that one game at a time, and we're not going to really you know focus on um, games in advance. Brady, how do you handle the attention of the crowd the way they come after you? Do you hear it? Do you use it as fuel? Do you ignore it? How do you deal with that? I love it. I love. It. Um, I kind of like being you know 
the hated one. I'd be going into, you know, visitors and just uh, them really doing their little chance, but it definitely fuels the fire for sure. All right, fellas. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks,